What's up, bitches? I'm McStud. And I'm Mrs. McStud. And we're back. We are back. And this might tickle. You it wanna, did tickle. You want to take a ride <laughs> on the mush, mustache train? I must have mushrooms. Hmm? I have fixed that. Oh, was it folded up at the bottom? Yes. <laughs> oh, it's Mickey's Sunday. <laughs> the hottest weekend we've had in a long, long fucking time. Oof. And it just stormed. Like, it went from 90-something in heat index to being like 108 to 76 degrees. Now it feels cold. It's, it's comfortable now. It's nice. Yeah, it's it is outside and enjoy. But I'm cold inside. You're always cold. Oof. Yes. Oh, Mickey's. We miss you guys. Um, cheers. Malt liquor. Mm. Did you get it? Head over heels. Yeah, that's correct. Good <laughs> job, Miss McStud. That's why you rock. So, I've had a week off, been thinking about things, and this video I want to dive into some shit that annoys me. And it's like phrases or expressions people say. And it's like, what the fuck? Just shut the fuck up. Why the fuck does, what the fuck does that Do you guys ever have that? Someone just saying like, what? shut up, you fucking douche. You know, just come up and say something they think they're cute. <laughs> saying it. You know, uh, one of them, like, especially at jobs. Teamwork makes the dream work. I don't know what dream you have. I know mine is to get to the day and go the fuck home. <laughs> uh, we can work together as a team. But if you're a dumb fuck, I wish I wish you would be uh, removed. Not be on my team. <laughs> uh, waive your contract. Uh, be traded, terminated, anything else. Teamwork makes the dream work. My dream is for you not to fucking be here. So if we work as a team, and tomorrow my dream comes true, and you're not here, great. It actually worked out for itself. <laughs> Those little fucking dipshits. Teamwork makes the teamwork makes the dream work. Come on, let's get this done. Ugh. You shut the fuck up and let me do my shit. Take your bad ass back over there and do your shit, and we'll get it done. Are you fucking acting cute? You fucking fuck stick. Another one, I don't know how many other states do it, but I know in Indiana it was a big one. It's for uh, law enforcement enforcing seatbelt laws. It was click it or ticket. Click what? The remote control? This dick. This dick? <laughs> click this dick. Like, what the fuck are you clicking? They're talking about the click it makes when your seatbelt, you know, fastens. I didn't click anything. The seatbelt made that fucking click. Is the seatbelt magically going to fucking... What, you know, those cars that come around, you shut the door, and it's like... Yeah. Your safety belt. Not everyone has that shit. No. And that one doesn't make a fucking click. I think that was back in old cars, too, wasn't it? Do they still make those? I have not seen a car that has, I like, the automatic the, fucking seatbelt. The thing. shoulder belt? Yeah, it's like... Yeah, I have Like, oh, now I'm safe and secure. No ticket for me because I clicked it. No ticket. <laughs> fucking idiots, click it or ticket. Click my fucking nuts and shut the fuck up. And they put that shit on billboards, too. It's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yes, oh my god. Here's another one. You know, people are engaged in conversation. Like, well, how you been? Well, hunky dory. What the fuck does that mean? Hunky dory. Sounds like fucking Dory from Finding Nemo was lifting some fucking weights. <laughs> Is that even a good or bad thing? <laughs> like, there's no word in that two word phrase that. Tells you they're doing good or they're doing bad. This is true. I mean, what the fuck? And, it, and on top of that, it sounds fucking ri ridiculously fucking stupid. Oh, I'm doing hunky dory. You know, just working, <laughs> you know, living the dream. That's another one, living the fucking dream. That one wasn't planned, but it's fucking popped up. Living the dream. What the fuck's your dream? What is your dream? I'm pretty <laughs> sure I'm not living my dream. My dream would be sit outside by the fucking pool. 24-7, not working. Everything paid for. True. I'm not living that dream. I'm not either. I'm pretty sure most of us don't have a job we really fucking love. Just living the dream. More like living a fucking nightmare. Are you fucking kidding me? The <laughs> government rapes you with fucking taxes. Health insurance rapes you with their fucking premiums. Car insurance. Life insurance. Everything wants to fuck you in the goddamn ass. Living the dream. Fucking live on this fucking anus, you cocksucking. <laughs> Oof. 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 <laughs> I was trying to remember this list one by one, and I'm having issues. So I didn't practice this. I don't usually have to write things down, so I was like, Mr. McStud, I'm going to screenshot them. <laughs> and I, I have to, because I'm to the point, like, I thought I'd remember it, but I, I don't. So what else do we got here? Oh, yeah. Don't let the door hit you where the good Lord split you. 
I'm sorry, if the Lord was so fucking good, then why'd he split you? You know, and what split are we talking about? Women got like two. One up front, one in the back. That's a lie. I'm just saying, women have a split in the front, a split in the back. This is true. That's like, but... a, it's like a front vagina and a back vagina. Ew. Or a front ass and a back ass. Ew. You know? I hope and, neither of mine look the same. You know, and, and more often than not, you know, you have to have one of those doors that actually pulls back in order for it to hit you. <laughs> and it only happens when you're coming in. How often do you, you know, usually when you say that, you're telling someone to get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. But in order to get out of the house, you have to push that door. And I'm sure it's not going to hit you because you already passed it by the time it swings fucking back. <laughs> so the, the fucking phrase is completely in fucking valid. Don't let the door hit you with a good lord split you. Shut the fuck up too, you fucking idiot. The only thing I can think of is the, like our screen door. Like, you know how. Yeah, you still have to push it out when you're leaving. Yeah, but if you have to stop and lock it. But if you're if they want you like out, that, like the, the, the yeah, yeah, they want you to get the fuck out. Yeah. And it, it's just, it's, it's fucking idiotic. Oh, not Yeah, I'm pretty sure the good Lord split me good. Isn't that right, Miss McStuff? Oh, Lord. Seriously? I don't even have to do squats. You don't have an ass. I got ass anymore. for days. Ass for days. During the summer, McStud, no ass. I hate it. I told him the other day. I was like, you don't have an ass. It's because I always gain a little bit more weight during the winter. And in, in the summer, it's like our harder time of year, so I work harder and walk around more and shit like that, so I drop a little bit. And she's fucking crazy. Yeah. You always have an ass, but it's not as defined. Like, uh, I want that grip. That grip. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Here's one. It's one of those phrases that a certain group of people are allowed to use. Farmers are the only ones allowed to use this fucking phrase. Anyone else doesn't really... <sighs> you get that smart ass, you're out in the fucking country, they look at the, the corn growing, they're like, knee high by the 4th of July! Bitch, are you a farmer? No, you didn't spend fucking hours and hours on the fucking field plowing it, fucking spraying your herbicides and pesticides, your genetically modified shit, all over the fucking corn to get it to grow. What the fuck do you care if it's knee high on the fucking 4th of July? The farmers do. You're not a fucking farmer. <laughs> and the only person I respect who says that's a fucking farmer because they care because that's their fucking income. That's their fucking livelihood. You, on the other hand, you little fucking dude, shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. You don't know a goddamn thing about farming. Like, what? The corn's ready to pick. Bitch, it's still green. This ain't a garden. That's a crop. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Get out of my face. Ah. <clears throat> Oof. What? What was the other ones? I gotta keep getting any fucking funny. I can't remember. We've <sighs> got a couple more. I can remember about those. It's not over until the fat lady sings. I personally have never heard that. I've never, you never heard someone say that? I've never heard that. Yeah, I've heard it a lot. It's not over until the fat lady sings. But I'm younger. Now ranks right up there with Elvis has left the building. I've never heard that one either. Fuck! First off, if that was true about the fat lady, things are still ongoing. Nothing's nothing's officially ended. You know, when you gave birth to your first child, well, it's not over till the fat lady sings. Did it, was there any fat lady singing after you gave birth? No. Well, then you're still in active labor. No, I'm really not. You're still in active labor. Mm -hmm. According to the saying, you're still in active labor. You know, close, close sporting events, scores close, they're not over. You know, they may say it's over, but the fat lady has not sung. Ew, that'd be horrible. What? <coughs> what? From the fat lady singing after birth. I'm like, what the? Can you get this crazy bitch out of here? Can we just put like meatloaf in a wig? Can let you him just sing? go get me a fucking pizza you know, already? I would do anything <laughs> for love, but I won't do that. Fuck out of here. And the Elvis has left the building thing. I mean, is it that big of a fucking deal? Elvis has left the fucking building. Great. Get the fuck out. Deuces. Until the next show. Elvis has left the building. Suck my dick. And I saved possibly the best for last. Because, you know, it ranks up there with a, uh, you gotta lick it before you stick it. That was another one I didn't have. I'm gonna tackle that one real fast. You don't have to lick it before you stick it, but it's nice. I would prefer to lick it before I stick it. That's just me. That's like my personal favorite thing to do. Seriously? Lick it and stick it. <laughs> lick it and stick it. <laughs> and Miss McStud knows this. Yes, I do. 
Oh, uh, but you don't I have to. You, know you don't have to. What if it's a fucking quickie? <laughs> You go sit there and just like give it a couple licks real fast before you stick it? No. No. No, you don't. You just fucking jam that bitch in there. Shove that hog up in that hole. I wouldn't say just jam that bitch in there. I mean, <laughs> don't say that. You know, good relationships, yeah, you lick it before you stick it. Now, if you're just fucking around, you know, with random people, I wouldn't recommend licking it at all. If at all, sticking it. <laughs> you should never know what the True. fuck you're going to get. Life's like a box of chocolates. You know, when you're picking your chocolates and it's sticking your dick in it. Hello, herpes. Oh, that's a winner right there. Ew. I gotta keep that one forever. And now gonorrhea you need to keep forever too because they don't have fucking vaccinations that are strong enough to fucking fight it. They become resistant. You gotta lick it before you stick it. Anyways, the final one. <laughs> two in the pink, or the one in the pink and two in the stink. You missed one. I did not. I got them all. No, you didn't. I did. It's one that you say all the time. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's stop at the... That's I mean, two in the pink and one in the thing. Anyway, we'll stop it. That's the ticket. That's the one I that's missed. The yes. That's the ticket. What fucking ticket? I didn't get a ticket. Is it a raffle? Is it a drawing? Is it a ticket to a cool show? Do I get into the fucking circus? What fucking ticket is it? No one ever tells you that. You know? Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. They're usually referring to something being done right or something positive. But what fuck? There's no fucking ticket. It's not like Chuck E. Cheese tickets are just popping out. Uh, like, oh my god, it is the ticket. Is it the golden ticket from fucking Willy Wonka? Uh, Did Grandpa finally get off his old ass out of bed? Because he's been bedroom for years to go travel the fucking Willy Wonka <laughs> chocolate factory? You lazy fuck. There ain't no goddamn ticket. Ain't no goddamn ticket. At all. No. Anyway, back to two in the pink and one in the stink. Which refers to sticking two fingers in a woman's vagina and one in her asshole. Also known as the shocker. Which I guess you could use two hands, you know, stick your thumb in the ass and two fingers up on top. Well, However, but if it stinks, why are you going to put it in there? Can't you just say this, like, two in the, because it, it, it rhymes, it sounds cute, two in the pink, one in the stink. But if it stinks so bad, I ain't going to fuck with it. Two in the pink, one in the pooper? <laughs> that doesn't sound good either. <laughs> like, why would I penetrate, what, what, what? What if the, what, on top of that, what if the pink stinks? Then you better not. What if you can't tell the difference between the two? What if they both smell like ass? Ew. Does that really happen? Mm-hmm. Ah. Unclean, unclean women that can't wash their fucking hole. Ew. Or their asshole. What if, what if like there's like macaroni and cheese coming out the fucking pink with a little uh, cottage cheese curdles? You know, and the ass has got like toilet paper bubbles stuck in the ass hair. Stop it. With, a little, like with, a, with a little fucking dingleberry. Ew. Hey, stick that finger up there, buddy. It really stinks. Mmm. Can you imagine the cottage cheese curls like pushing that around your dick as you stick it in? It's like. Why would you even think about this? I don't know. It just fucking. It, it comes along with the territory of this fucking topic. I mean, for fuck's sake. <clears throat> That makes my stomach turn. Does I hope it? I never like that. No, you're not. You've always been a very clean person. I appreciate that. <laughs> Believe me. Because if you weren't, I wouldn't enjoy licking it before I stick it at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, ain't no lick in the night. <clears throat> well, I guess if I'm sore, then I should not clean. If I have to come into the bedroom with a bottle of Febreze. Oof. Or Lysol. I'd be embarrassed. Oh, boy, I would too. <laughs> Like, and you and the dudes with the knob cheese, you know, you're fucking shit sweating and fucking, it's like, oh, after a hot yeah. day, you're like, you drop your pants, shower. you drop your pants, like, whew, that shit's ripe today. Oh, time to bathe. Shit's fucking nasty. You have to shower every day because you're sticky and I have I to am. lay on your chest. That's right. She has to lay on my chest. To sleep. Mmm. Mmm. Big tits swinging. Anyways, now that we got through that, there was a Manny Pacquiao fight last night. Went to decision, split decision. 40-year-old Manny Pacquiao won the title over an undefeated fighter. It was a good fight. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed seeing Pacquiao get the win. Uh, but the scorecards were way fucking crazy. Uh, they were way off. Like, I was trying to explain to her how, like, boxing scored and shit, and I had it. Because I got lot, real good with I that. I had it a lot closer than that second judge's score. He was, like, four or five rounds Before, off. I'm yeah. like... I'm like, wait a minute, no, no, no. 
fucking crazy shit. You know, then there was UFC. It was one of those long events. You know, we got a we kicked it on right at the end of the last prelim with Bruce Leroy. Yeah. Which he bloodied that guy up a little bit. You know, then we get to watch Arlovsky <laughs> and Rothwell, like, wear themselves the fuck out. And they hugged each other for the end of their last round, and people still cheered because they still beat the shit out of each other. And they knew they were too tired of doing anything. Usually like people boo. Seconds. Usually people boo and are like, yeah, because they knew they just weren't running. They couldn't do it. <laughs> oh. Then you got Dan Hooker with that spectacular knockout. Uh, the main event was a little long. Greg Harding, I like watching him. Greg Hardy. Everyone knew has some hate. I disagree with what might have happened, but he's a pretty good heavyweight fighter. What do you mean you disagree with what happened? No, with his past and you know, the, oh, the, I don't the really trouble know he was in. That, but, um, but he... he uh, I like watching him fight. Um, he seems to be a good fighter. He's fun to watch. I mean, I didn't disagree with what Michael Jackson did or didn't do, but I still love his music. That last fight, though, wore me out. It was... The 25-minute one? Is that the one I don't like watching? What's his name? We watched... There was Leon Edwards and uh, Rafael Dos Anjos. No, it wasn't... Okay, it wasn't that fight. That was the main event. Yeah, but it was the other one. I was like, man, I've never watched him fight, and I never care to watch him fight again. I can't remember. Because he was... It was so boring. All I know is I was surprised that Clay Weed is getting a co-main event fight. Remember we were talking about that? Yeah. He's getting a co-main event fight. That was the schedule. I was like, like, what the fuck? August the 10th, I think? Something like that. I love watching Clay Guida. He's never really been, like, he's been fun to watch. I like to see him on pay-per-views, but he's just never been really top-tier fighter. But he's fun to watch, you know? (laughs) And he gets a co-main event spot. I'm like, holy fuck. Is it like Jim Miller or something, I think? That, That should be cool. You know, as this video winds down, we literally sweat our balls off this weekend. And uh, we were afraid to actually get in the pool yesterday because it was so hot, but uh, the pool actually helped. I actually had a heat stroke. Miss and Miss had a heat stroke, so being outside for an extended period of time, like, just kicks her ass. And I got this cool cooling towel on work from work on Thursday. And, uh, I so we, like this weekend. <laughs> we did make it in the pool for a little bit yesterday. We had some... You know, sick chitlins, but it's all good. Uh, yeah, but it's been a brutal fucking weekend for the heat. And thank God we don't have to mow our yard. Our landlord is out on the oh big ass riding mower. Oh my God, like, like 11 degree weather. He's just like cruising around smiling. I'm like, holy shit, dude. You're a much better person than I am. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, I, and you always feel bad when he's out there like, Sweating his balls off on our grass, and we're inside the air conditioning watching yeah. it. <laughs> the thing is, our, our air conditioning, like, our house is pretty well insulated, <laughs> and it struggled. Like, we have it set at 66 right now, and the temperature was 73 earlier. 70, yeah. We got it down to 70. Like, all weekend. Like, we, I was looking online for ways to cool down the living room, so I put this, the box fan in front of the air vent and put a mixing bowl full of ice just to blow, and it worked. When a person Ooh. doesn't sweat, that's... I problem. mean, when you're hot and you don't sweat, which is what I was doing in the living room yesterday, it's not good. No. And I'm just like, oh, I'm hot. Yes. And I'm not sweating. No, but we, I got it cooled off pretty Cause, good. Yeah, because sweat actually is what cools your body. Mm-hmm. Or, or this dick. Actually, that it makes me hotter. raises the temperature. It does. And gives her a pussy fever. Oof. <laughs> I didn't even have my thing facing them. Why did you tell me that? I didn't notice we were discussing current events. Yeah. Oof. School's getting ready to start back up. That's like, good and bad, really. The kids here start before August. I do. That's fucking crazy. That, that reminds me, Miss McStud has another video. The one you're angry about and you're just ready to fucking... I can't remember that. Oh, God, you're so passionate about it, too. If you mentioned the comment, that, or if you mentioned the topic, school, I school would. school-related... Yeah, it was school related, but I can't. Rem- I, everything pisses me off about the school up here. Yeah. I can't remember what it was. Oh, but we're gonna we're gonna revisit. The, we're gonna get that. Yeah. Probably tomorrow. I could probably do that video my fucking self. Yeah, I was like, I remember, I remember the very first video I let Miss McStud do. I can't remember. She's what. come a long way. Like she was kind of apprehensive <laughs> and nervous being in front of the camera, but she killed it. It was it was. Uh, summer women's, clothes. Summer, summer clothing for women. That was like five, six years ago. It wasn't even women. It was like Anybody, really. people in general. 
Like, you know, I, I still say that. And I will call any person out, even in public. He gets embarrassed. But I'm like, that bitch needs to put some shit on. I mean, I don't want to see all that. That bitch has more fucking dimples in her body than I've ever seen in my entire life. And oh, she's wearing shit that I would, and I'm not fit by any means, but I'm not fat. I'm not skinny. I'm like average. And I would never be caught in that. There is no fucking way. I would never, I wouldn't put you through that going in public with me. There's no shame in her game is what you're saying. That is, dis it's disgusting. It's downright nasty. Like I enjoy everyone being comfortable with their bodies. You know, I, I promote, you know, be comfortable with who you are. But let's not disgust everyone in the fucking process. I mean, we had to go sh grocery shopping one of the hottest days this year in seven years, it's, actually. It's not socially acceptable for me to put my Speedo on and go to Walmart and shop. No. And I mean, I had, I wore even capris. I wouldn't even go out. Mm -hmm. I didn't even wear shorts. Mm -hmm. But this bitch is over here wearing this mini dress. I guess that's what you call it. It doesn't even have enough material probably for a fucking pair of underwear. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Anyways, we're going to get Miss McSud's video in check. Sorry the video is so long, but we needed this. It's been 21 minutes, but we needed this. We've been off for a week. Yeah. So it was good to, good to be back. We're staying cool. We're about to watch some Big, big Fucking Brother. Yeah. Because we don't have a direct TV or ATT. Uh, we have, Hulu, we have Hulu. <laughs> so we get to watch it. So yeah, hope you guys have a great start to your week. It's Sunday. The weekend is an end until you clock in on Monday morning. Last time you said that you got wasted on Sunday and you regretted saying that. So do not ever say that. That yeah. should always bite you in the ass. It does. That, that, that's a true story statement. Oof. Anyways, I'm McStud. I miss this McStud. It's good to be back. We love you guys. And we will catch you bitches later. Oof. I'll stick Oof. a dick in it. <laughs>